Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and um, I want to talk about radios because something uh, actually somebody asked me a question that you know I always say it sometimes you don't think about um, actually talking about those things unless somebody comes up and says okay wait a minute I, I need to have uh, info on what's the difference between two different things and in this case the question is okay there are portable receivers that are DSP or digital signal processing and there are portable receivers that are analog and what is the advantage of one over the other and is there one better than the other in general so here's the thing it's it's a little difficult to explain I'll try to put it in simple words so a lot of modern radios so here what you see for example in this screen are DSP based radios they all all four of them that you see here has the same chip inside it's become very popular to use a chip which is made by silicon integrated and it's the 4734, 4735-ish family of DSP chips. They are basically a complete radio on a little chip. Very simple why they use it. It's because it lowers the cost of the receiver. And when properly used, that chip is actually quite powerful and quite interesting. A lot of older receivers and a lot of receivers still made today, although there's not as many as there used to be, are analog. So the Texan PL680 that I use from time to time or the 660 uh, analog radios. Uh, Grandic G5 is an analog radio. And one of the first things you'll notice between an analog radio and a DSP based receiver is in the tuning. Pretty much every portable that uses a DSP chip has what we call muting when we tune around the bands. It means that every time you turn that, you know, uh, tuning button or you press that up down button to tune the frequency or move up or down, there's a slight fraction of a second where the audio cups out and then it comes back. Some receivers it's longer than others so there's some receivers that's e even more annoying because it takes longer to actually come back than others but pretty much every dsp based receiver does it so if that is a big annoyance to you you already know that you should stay away from any dsp based radios and um so it of course came to my attention that I will be making two videos of you know some of the popular DSP based radios and some of the popular analog style receivers an analog receiver in general not all of them it, I've seen some analog have muting but very little so most of them do not it means you just tune and that's it whatever frequency you're tuning with the tuning buttons or the up and down buttons the audio doesn't cut out it's always there makes smoother tuning of the bands if you do so there's also the um, the way that the signals are handled with a DSP receiver that sometimes makes it a little strange especially with AGC when the signal fades in and out on shortwave some receivers are better than other at actually handling that so that's something to take uh, to, to, to remember when you actually get a receiver if you do get a DSP based make sure that you look at all the reviews and all the comments of everybody uh, to make a, yourself a, a good idea of what radio would be the best is a DSP radio better than uh, an analog radio not necessarily DSP receivers have one advantage they offer more features because that little chip has so many things that it can offer in features, a lot of receivers actually will have some uh, extra features. Like for example, the XH data 
and the sea crane that you see here at the bottom, the two small portables, have more, um, you know, filters, for example, for a single sideband in AM than an analog one because analog radios usually it's hardware filters it, you need electronics every filter you put in there needs extra parts so what happens is that they will most of the time stay at you know two filters a wide and a narrow filter where the dsp based receivers will add more features more filters mostly for a simple uh, reason is that there's no need for extra parts it's all done in the chip in the firmware of the receiver itself that doesn't mean that it's necessarily better because well chosen analog filters are as good and could be as good as uh, those filters in the dsp chip the uh sensitivity the performance of a radio analog and dsp can actually be pretty much equal um not there's not one that's necessarily better than the other so these are little things to uh, try to understand and the main difference is that one is all the processing of the the uh, signal is done electronically where on an analog radio the electronics actually are there to simply um, you know give you whatever the receiver is receiving more directly and an analog radio has less transformation of the signal which means it sounds very often it sounds a little cleaner because it's not processed where a dsp well it's you know digitally processed sometimes it shows that the audio can be different Sometimes, uh, you know, the tuning can be different. It all depends on how well the radio is built. But overall, um, it really depends on where you stand. Do you want to have... If, if muting when you tune around is a problem, well, stay away from most DSP-based radios. If muting is not a problem, well, DSP chips and DSP-based radios have some interesting abilities to offer and features to offer that are kind of nice. I like boat, but I also noticed that I'm not the kind of guy on a portable that tunes around. If I want to tune around the bands, I tune around with my uh, SDR or a, a radio like my ICOM, my CR-D500, things like that. I rarely go up and down the band, and most of the DSP receivers I actually use are, I punch in the frequency I want to listen to. Uh, of course, that changes the way that you know for me muting is not an issue when you do it like that so that's the basics and um you know it's a more complex than that but trying to understand what the difference between analog and dsp could be uh useful in choosing a radio if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching